Hey guys, it's Aaron. So we're working through layout and a question that came up a couple times is asking about stacking viewports. Now with stacking viewports, you can do some really cool stuff because you can make portions of one viewport visible over top of another. One of the ways that this gets used a lot in, in layout is with controlling line types and styles. So what I mean by that is you're limited with the types of lines you can put in a single viewport. You can only put one style. So what you can't do through layout is adjust or change style types. You have to work with the ones you have. By layering two viewports, I can use things like the faces off of one viewport with line properties in a different viewport. Um, this is kind of weird that I'm doing this to you. Let's just go look at it and do it. So we're gonna hop in and use two viewports to grab a, a sketchy line style and put it over our standard colors and shadows of our standard viewport. So let's hop right in and do that right now. Okay, so working the same model we had before. I have a front view of the building, shadows are turned on. This is just standard right now. I have it set to hybrid. So that means I'm showing vector lines over my raster uh, faces, my surfaces, my materials. Um, so I'm limited right here. So I'm going to take, for example, this marker thin, right? I want to say that I want to use the line types from marker thin. So watch what happens doing nothing else, having this selected. If I click marker thin right now, what's going to happen is marker thin is set to use lines. It has little extensions. It, I like for this example, I like this line type. But what I don't like is that it white outs all my material. So I have no, I just have a black and white drawing. So that's not what I want to have. I want to have my materials plus that. I can't do that with just this type because this specific style is just those lines on white surfaces. So I'm going to undo that. What we're going to do here is we're going to start by making a copy of this viewport. So let's look at what's in this viewport. So I have a, if I'm looking at a front view right here. I have ortho turned on. It's set to eighth inch equals a foot. Preserve on, resize is set. That's what this is right now. It is on a layer called default. Actually, I don't need my tags anymore, so I can give myself a little bit more space. I'm on one page. I'm not going to leave this page, so I actually don't need to worry about that either. But right now, I'm looking at this default. What I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new layer. I'm going to call this lines. This is not a requirement, but this is a nice way to do what we're about to do. So one of the issues with layering viewports is I'm going to basically take the same thing and put it on top of itself multiple times. The problem with that is when I go to select into that viewport, it can be hard if it's directly overlapped by another viewport. So by putting it on separate layers, I'm going to be able to actually individually toggle the viewports to get to the viewport I want to work with. So let's look at what's in here. So something that is important that I do want to make sure I have turned on is my background is turned off. So I want to make sure that background is turned off. If that is turned on, then it's going to fill all the space around here inside the viewport with whatever my background is. My background is just a plain white. So you can see my grid disappeared because my white background is covering it up. So I'm going to turn background off and then I'm just going to make a copy of this viewport. I'm going to select it. I'm going to say copy and I'm just going to say edit paste. What that's going to do is make a copy of this exact viewport right over itself. So right now I have two of these and they're on the same layer. So two of them on default. What I do is right click and I'm going to say move to layer lines. That's going to move one of the copies onto the lines layer and one is going to stay on the default layer. I don't really care which one because they're copies of the exact same thing. All right. So now I'm going to start by turning the lines off and I'm going to prepare my, I'm going to call this my materials layer. So this is where I'm actually going to see my shingles, my siding and my glass and that sort of stuff. Um, what I mean by prepare is I want to come here. I'm going to leave it as hybrid, but I'm going to try to shrink down my lines as much as possible. So I'm going to come in here. I'm going to set my scaling factor to 0.25 and then set the line width to 0.1. And then there we go. See, really the only thing I have now is that it kind of looks like a clay render or something like that. I do have shadows in here getting cast, but other than that, it's mostly materials. I have this teeny tiny line that shows me 
where the breaks and materials are, but that's it. That's perfect. Now I'm going to lay my new lines, my, my uh, marker thin lines over top of that. I'm going to come over here to my layers and I'm going to turn my lines back on. And it's just going to look like it covered it up because it's the same layer. So if I turn off this layer over here, so there's no layers, here's just my default, here's my lines. Right now my lines layer is exactly the same as the, it was before. So first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to come up here to hybrid and I'm going to change it to vector because all I want is lines. I don't want any materials. So the first thing I'm going to do is going to turn all those existing materials to their color counterparts, which that's not very exciting. And then I'm going to go grab my marker thin line type. And that's going to put it on there. I'm going to do a little fine tuning. This is a little bit heavy handed, especially around here. I have a lot of lines. So I might come up here, maybe drop that down to, let's see what 0.6 looks like. Oh, perfect. That's exactly what I want. I like my little extensions. I like the small lines on the, the intersections and the heavier lines on the outside. That's exactly what I want. This is nice because I can control and fine tune this separately from what's underneath it, which is this right here. So that gives me the ability to control my lines separately from my materials down below. So now I can actually flip through this. So this is just scratching the surface. There's a lot more we can do with stacking viewports, but this is a beginning just to kind of go over the basics of how to interact with viewports and some tips on how to keep them clean by using layers to make it easy to switch between them. Like I said, getting into it, we can definitely go in deeper. We can look at some masking or uh, some different ways to use viewports to cover up things. Let me know if that's what you want to see more of. If you like this video, click like down below. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. We create a lot of videos around here and you'll be notified of each and every one of them if you subscribe. Most importantly though, leave a comment down below. Let me know if there's any other pieces of layout we think we should spotlight before we wrap up this group of videos. We like making these videos a lot, but we like them even more when they're showing something that you want to see. Thank you.